Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we would be discussing the problem known as ball color. Now in this problem we are given n balls and all of them are initially uncolored and we need to color them in just two colors that is red or white and there can be at most two positions where a red ball is touching the blue ball. So at most means what? Suppose we are told that at most you can eat 5x. So this means that I can eat 0x, I can eat 1x, I can eat 2x, I can eat 3x, I can eat 4x, I can eat 5x. This is what I can do. So if we are given that we can use at most two position, that means I can have zero positions, one position and two position. Okay. And you need to color the balls according to the condition and we need to find the number of pins. This is what we need to do. So let us move forward and solve the sample test case. So in the given sample test case, we are given that there is only one ball. If there is only one ball, then either we can color it using red or either we can color it using blue itself. So these are the only two options we have. That is why the output to this is two itself. Let us move forward and solve the problem for when the number of balls are two. So when the number of balls are two, we have two positions. So we can have that all the balls are red and we can have all the balls as blue. Then we can have red and then we can have blue and then we can have here blue and then the red itself. So this is what? This is not the same combination if you look at these two where the first ball is colored red and in the next ordering the first ball is colored blue. So this is why we can say that they both differ. So that is why the number of ways we have is 4 itself. Okay, fair enough. Now let us move forward. If we move forward then we already have seen for the case when n is equals to 1, when n is equals to 3. Now let us move forward. Now let us move forward. Now what we can do is we can think of the situation that we already have the solution for 1 and 2. So let us try to see the solution for 3 and we would have a better perspective of this. So if we have 3, n is equals to 3, then when everyone is red, it would be like this. When everyone is red, we would have like this. When everyone is blue, we would have like this. And when there is only one red and we have number of blues, that is why like this. Then we keep this one red at this position and we have blue at these two position and we have red at this position. Then red at the last position and blue at the first two position. So we can see at this point that even for a small number n is equals to 3, the number of ways can be very very large. Okay. For this, for manual it is very very large. Okay. The solution is not very long. But the number of ways we can have it is very large. So writing down in a pen and paper for n is equals to 5 or n is equals to 6, it would be absolutely very long. Okay. And you won't have that great amount of time to draw out the test cases. So now the first option was that we see the answers for different the numbers. So then we move forward and we think that yes, this is very large. We need to write a lot more. So try to have a tunnel vision to this approach. The tunnel vision to this approach would be that we would see the scenario when we have zero touching, we have one touching and we have two touching. What do you mean by touching here? Touching means that the red ball would be touching blue and blue ball would be touching the red, vice versa. Okay. So let us see that scenario when there is no blue red combination that is touching. So when there is no blue red combination that is touching that means we need to color everything as red or color everything as blue. When we have okay suppose we have one two three four when we have this kind of like we need to color four objects then we can see that there is only one touching that means I can color this part and I can leave these all part 
then I can color this part and I can leave all this part. So I can say that if there is only one touching, then this is the part where it would touch. This is the part where it would put. This is the part where it would touch. So if we make two, two pairs and both of them would go like this, I, I would just show you, suppose we have one, two, three, four, and the first one would be like this. Then the next one would be like this. And the next one would be like this. So even for n, the number of ways would be n minus one. So we can easily say that it would be n minus one position. Okay. N minus one position. So for n minus one position, the, the values do exist. So for n minus one position, we can color it using two ways. The first one is by using blue. The next one is by using red. That is only two. That is why we can say that the contribution from the one is n minus one multiplied by two. And from here it is two itself. The last one and the most interesting one, okay, would be the contribution where there would be two position. So we have already seen two color one position. We have n minus one. So suppose n minus one, suppose n minus one position is left. So with the n minus one position, we have already used two positions. Okay. Like there are grouping now. See, there are grouping. Like if we just use this or then we use this. So see two elements we would be using at all times. So it means that it means that it would be n minus one. So n minus one would also always be there. Okay. Like suppose R B. Uh, okay. And we keep it at this position, then this position, then this position, then this position. Let us try to visualize it with a much simpler thing like this, like this, like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. Okay. So now suppose the first one would be sitting here. The next 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 one would be sitting here. So suppose we sat at this position where R and B is sitting at this position and how many positions we have left to cover. So if there is two touching, that means we have, we have left to cover N minus two positions. Okay. At all times, because if it is sitting here also, if it is sitting here also, if it is sitting here also, it doesn't matter to us. Okay. We have N minus two position left. We are only obstructing the two position. That means N minus two is already left. So from N, so from N, if we obstruct two position, that would be N minus two position left. So suppose we have N minus two combination at this position and N minus one position at this combination. So we can say that N minus one multiplied by N minus two. Okay. We can have this because see what we did. We know that N minus suppose I would just show you. Okay. Let's just see a very simple example. Suppose we have R B, then we have B R and then we have R R and then we have B B. And then we are saying that at this position, we can either keep R or you can either keep B. Okay. So you can say that it would be nothing, but the number of combination here multiplied by the number of combination here, this is what you can do. Okay. First you would be keeping R at all position. Then you would keep B at all position. In the same way, we can say that it would be n minus one multiplied by n minus two. So now the solution is nothing but two plus two multiplied by n minus one plus n minus one multiplied by n minus two itself. Okay. So let us try to simplify it. So we have two here, then we have two multiplied by n that is two n minus two. And then we would have it at this position. So we have n multiplied by n minus two minus one into n minus two itself. Then we have two plus two n minus two plus, and this would be n square minus two n minus n minus minus plus that is two. So now we would open the bracket and the opening of bracket won't change the shine because plus is there. Okay, addition is there. So 2n minus n plus 2. We would be re removing the like terms. So this is plus 2, this is minus 2, this is plus 2n, this is minus 2n. That would be nothing but n square 
minus n plus 2 itself. So we would keep here 2 and then we have plus and then we have n, okay, and n minus 1 itself, okay. So now this is where the formula in the editorial is coming from, okay. This is the derivation of it. And you, to be honest, you can directly use n square minus n plus 2, okay. But if you are confused that how the formula of Sadhar is varying from the formula that is given in the editorial, this is because of this. They have taken n as common. Okay. So now the solution is absolutely very simple. What we would do is we would simply have it at this point that is 2 plus return 2 plus n multiplied by n minus 2. Okay. Just compile and run and see if we are getting correct output for the sample test case. Okay, we are getting correct output for the sample test case. Now let us try to submit this and see if we can get an AC or not. And yes, we got an AC. As these all operators take constant time and this computation is taking constant time and you are using the mathematical formula. So the time complexity of this approach is constant and the space complexity also remains the constant because we are not using any auxiliary data structure. So now that's it for today. Thank you and have a nice day. So if you are here till this point of the solution, consider liking the video and commenting on the video for the better reach of this video. Thank you and have a nice day.